to do a broad shoulder adjustment or a narrow shoulder adjustment. I'm going to be doing the broad shoulder adjustment on a um, pattern bodice, but I will show you it's basically the same steps for narrow shoulder and what you're going to need um, is pretty much everything's the same. So it's very simple to do and I just wanted to talk about so when you have a shoulder seam it should sit right it shouldn't be if it's falling down over your shoulder um, then you're going to need to do a narrow shoulder adjustment to bring that in if if it's a inset sleeve that is supposed to hit right it's supposed to hit right at the corner now there's drop shoulder sleeves which aren't meant to do that so this is not for that type of sleeve but you want it to hit right at the corner here of your shoulder or if it is in like this then this is where you are going to need a broad shoulder adjustment because you need this seam to come out this way and so what that's going to do is that's going to, we're going to widen the shoulder seam of your pattern to make that sleeve fit at the right spot otherwise you're going to have weird pulling or weird droopiness if it's um, your shoulders are too narrow for that. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through the steps of how to do it and what you'll need. Um, like I said, it's relatively simple, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is just um, kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is the pattern bodice that I'm going to be working on. This is cut out as is and as the pattern is written based on my sizing and you can see here this is where the shoulder seam is and it is very far in and it's making this bunch up quite a bit in my armpit because the shoulder seam should be right about here and you can see just doing that much um, makes this leg quite a bit nicer already and like on this one where it's not sewn you can see like look how big of a gap there is between the edge of the sleeve and where my shoulder point is and so that's just going to make this not fit very nicely because I do have broader shoulders so what you want to do is you are going to want to find your measurement of how much more you need so like you can see this one sits a little bit further this way so a way to do it if it's a new pattern you can baste your sleeve on just to get an idea of where it sits because your sleeve will pull your shoulder seam down a little bit as you can see this seam sits a little bit closer to my shoulder than this one that is just cut open so you're going to want to just measure from where your sleeve seam here your arm side is sitting and measure so I right here is where I need it to go and you want to measure that in and that is how much you're going to need or if you're doing the narrow shoulder same thing you want to just kind of see how much it is going over that shoulder point of how much you're going to need so now I'm going to get out my pattern pieces and show you how I'm going to adjust them to make these changes Okay, so to get started, as I had talked about, we are doing a broad shoulder adjustment, and I already talked a little bit about the purpose of it. This can also be done for a narrow shoulder adjustment, and I'll show you um, just a little bit of a difference of what you need. But if you are doing the broad shoulder adjustment, you're going to need some extra paper. I use a projector typically, and this is kind of hard to do. Um, when it's projected on your screen so I just copied my patterns and I'll show you two ways to do it if you want to keep your um, master copy of your pattern it's not a bad idea to just copy it over on paper and then so I this is my whole bodice piece and this is um, just the top because we don't necessarily need the whole thing I can kind of put it together and merge it with the rest so I'll just show you I'm just showing you um, some different ways to do it and so what you're going to need is your pattern pieces a marker something to mark with scissors a ruler and then tape and spare paper 
if you are doing the broad shoulders. If you are doing the narrow shoulders, you do not need the extra paper. So I am going to be adding two and a half inches to my shoulder. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure my shoulder seam here and I'm going to find, so this is just under two, four inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark right under two inches cause that's about the halfway point. And then what I like to do, I like to come down five inches from my shoulder seam and make a mark. You might not have to go down as far if you are only doing a little bit, but because I am adding so much, I want it to be more gradual in adding it in. So once you have marked your two marks, you're going to put your straight edge on your dot down here and then on your halfway point, and then you are going to connect your dots. And then we are going to, you want to leave about a quarter of an inch down here. You don't want to completely cut this piece off. So I'm just going to cut along this line here. So that's about good. You can see it just kind of wings out there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my um, scrap piece of paper. I'm going to just put it under here for now. And then I'm going to take my straight edge. Or ruler, it doesn't have to be a straight edge. I'm going to measure two and a half inches from this point. And then I'm going to flare this out two and a half inches. So I need to bring this out a little more. And then we are just going to tape that down best we can so that then this um, new piece of paper becomes part of the pattern. But so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our neck point here and connect it to our shoulder point. So we're going to make a new line and we are just going to draw that line across like that then you will you'll want to cut off if you have extra like I have over here you're going to want to cut that off and then also up here at the top I will cut this off here and give us that arm um, side back I guess we can just so there is my back piece so now you are going to want to do the same with your front piece so this one remember I just did at the top because we we're only coming down about five inches so everything from here down is going to be the same as the original pattern and on this one I will show you as well I forgot on the last one to show you if you were doing a narrow shoulder adjustment um and so this these should measure about the same so again we're going to go just under two and a half inches and this will vary for every pattern you use every size you use of your shoulder area so it's good to know your total seam of what you need because it's not going to be the same for every pattern of the amount that is going to need to be added or taken away so again i marked my middle seam and then i will mark five inches down connect those dots And so again, I am going to cut this down without cutting it off. And so if I was doing a narrow shoulder adjustment, so say I needed to take away half of an inch. So I would just come up here with my straight edge here, and then I would overlap 
these half an inch and then you're going to want to add um, a little bit of paper up here so you would put something under here overlap half an inch or whatever you would need and then you would again just connect this point to here with a straight edge and cut that and that would be your new shoulder line but since we are doing again we are doing the broad shoulder adjustment where I need to add we are going to start here we're going to measure two and a half inches of the opening so you want to make sure you're measuring your opening part or overlapping part not because if I only move this to the two and a half point, you're outside of your shoulder, then I'm only adding a little bit. So I want to make sure my cut edge is all the way there. So now I will just tape that down again and I need a little more tape. So I like to have my tape pre-cut so that I don't have to do this. But I didn't cut enough, I guess. So again, two and a half inches. Like that. All right, so then we are going to again connect our dots. And so I didn't do enough over here, so I'm gonna add a little bit more paper here. And this is why I like to, even if I have the pattern printed out, I like to copy it because you never know if you may need to use it again for something else or someone else. So um, I just like to preserve my finals. But if you're only sewing for you, then it's 100% personal preference. But So now you can see I have both of my pieces and they should measure exactly the same so that then when you sew them together they will fit and I will get my fabric cut out and pieced together and I will show you the difference that this makes on the fit of my bodice. Alright so this is the um, bodice I used the broad shoulder adjustment on and this is the same pattern as what I showed you at the very beginning but with the adjustments added and you can just see here how nicely this fits and how much nicer this is fitting down here it's not pulling and gathering all weird it sits nicely right on the edges of my shoulders which is exactly what we want so I hope that this video was helpful in helping you find the right fit for your shoulders, whether it's a narrow adjustment or a broad shoulder adjustment, but this is going to help your shirts fit much better and lay much nicer. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. But if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for any future videos. Bye!